Hello boys and girls, got a quickie for you today. As I was making this video, there was uh, small stuff I needed to do before I went to do the fuel pump. When one of those things was bringing the car down off of jack stands. But that video ended up to be almost 40 minutes. And I don't want to bore you too much. So a fuel pump install, which is the 255 Walbro fuel pump, that's going to be in, ep uh, this is what, 13? So that's 14. And this time, um, just quickly, it's kind of an update, I guess. Radiator gets installed, car's going to get lowered, and I'm going to show you an exhaust cutout, which there's also going to be a video on a vacuum actuated, what is it, the, the flappy thing for the exhaust cutout, and how I wired it, which didn't really work. Still working on that, but but that's later. So this time, kind of an up to speed, what was done so far. So as always guys, subscribe, like, comment, dislike, like, whatever, do something, okay? Uh, you know, whatever you do, it helps the channel out and helps me out. So thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Time for another update. Oil temperature sensor and oil pressure sensor or sending unit. Pressure is on the left, temperature is on the right. Okay, these two fellas. Now I ran it over the exhaust here, well away from the the exhaust. I'm not putting back the um I got a, I got an H brace and some covers, I'm not putting them back in. I actually made a mistake. And those studs, instead of putting them on the lower hole there, while the engine was uh, still on the stand, I put them up there. So up there where the stud, where, where you see the nut. That's where the bolts go, and the nut with the stud goes where there is no bolt. So once I have it up, on the lift I'm gonna move them around yeah same story on this side too there you go so my mistake gotta fix that don't need to uh, do it now and a little surprise check this out exhaust cutout yep three inches right now it's it's blocked blocked off because I don't want to scare any neighbors uh, when I'm going to start it up. So yeah, I'm thinking of getting a, a vacuum um, flap or opener, whatever you want to call that thing. I'm still debating on it. Those tend to break. Definitely not electrical one because the motors simply melt. So I might as well just uh, leave it like that, do a manual. It would manually uh, remove this uh, this cover and I'll show you what I got uh, basically remove it at the track but see it's uh, sticking down a bit I mean it, it's not any lower than the actual exhaust here this is uh, the down pipe to mid pipe this is actually the lowest part of the car so this is a little bit higher I actually did hit this a few times. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is a good exhaust system. This is 12 years old. Imagine that. Stainless steel, high quality stainless steel. No rust at all, 12 years, man. This is what you get when you pay for quality parts. I believe it's Turbo XS. Uh, the 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 back, the axle back is two and a half, and the rest of it uh, towards all the way to the turbo is three inches. So that's why, I, you know, I'm gonna get. I do have to get two separate tunes. Uh, I'm gonna 
I'm not gonna use the cutout auto crossing, but I will be using it tracking the car. So remove, I simply remove the cover and install this, and it's gonna be loud. Just to get it going, everything underneath the car is done. I cleaned up the radiator a bit. This hose, I took it off. Replaced these clamps with these guys here. So this is good to go, and that's what's going in next. Actually, it's not. I'm going to lower the car, put it on the floor, and torque down the crank bolt, which I forgot. I should have done it while it's hanging on the... Uh, the hoist that's why this socket has been here for the past week or two to remind me to torque it down Okay, so that was kind of a test. So you saw it torquing down to 100. Well, that's, that's as far as that torque wrench goes. I have another one. And it's 132.8. I'm just gonna do 133. There we go. Good. That's why I had to put the car down on the, on the floor, put it in sixth gear and apply the handbrake. Okay, radiator in. Now what I gotta do is fix up this harness, clean it up a bit over here. It's kind of a small mess. Connect these two hoses, tighten this up, and install the battery. I am gonna put some kind of a, a terminal on this power cable here. This is for the uh, rear speakers, for the amp. These guys here. Yeah, I actually, probably something I, sh I can show you. So we all, so we all know, I don't know about the 2020s or 18s or whatever, STIs, but as far as I know, you only get speakers in the doors. So one here, there's a, a pair of tweeters in here. And you got another speaker here, both doors. So to uh, get more sound, without getting a subwoofer I do like uh, listening to my music loud I installed these 6x9s and they are all actually I forgot what these are yeah I think they're they're all Rockford Fosgate and the amp is under the passenger seat all right I'm gonna do all this stuff and we'll be right back So I didn't like the bracket, how it was, it was too long, it was uh, right about here before and uh, I, I had trouble fitting my hand in here if I were to unscrew the can. Okay, so I basically cut it in half here and I welded it back together, well I cut off maybe uh, an inch in between, welded it back, didn't bother 
cleaning up the welds on the inside here but I obviously have to do it on the outside here so now it's ready for paint and it's going to be right about here <laughs> 